Hi, it's me, Alberto, your expression teacher. Remember? ¿Os acordáis? Today I'm going to teach you the expression to pull your socks up. Seguro que te estás preguntando, Alberto, to pull your socks up, ¿no es subirse los calcetines? Pues sí. To pull your socks up significa subirse los calcetines, literalmente. In fact, I'm going to pull my socks up right now. But remember, this is expression time. And to pull your socks up also means ponerse las pilas. So if I tell you, pull your socks up, te estoy diciendo, ponte las pilas. Y fíjate, dependiendo de quién se tiene que poner las pilas, usamos your, his, her, their, right, to pull your socks up to pull his socks up, right? Muy importante esto, to pull their socks up. Tienen que hacer juego. Ahora, cuando significa subirse los calcetines, podemos decir to pull your socks up o to pull up your socks. Pero cuando significa ponerse las pilas como expresión, solo es válida la forma to pull your socks up. Let's have a look at some examples. We need to pull our socks up. Tenemos que ponernos las pilas. ¿Y él? Eso es. He needs, tercer persona, he needs to pull his socks up. ¿Y ella? Good job. She needs to pull her socks up. ¿Y ellos? Them? They need to pull their socks up. Okay, so if you want to improve your English, si quieres mejorar tu inglés, Pull your socks up. All right? We'll see you next time.